focuses on budget deficit and debt and I have these three formulas that we went through in the last video to remind you that this is here and that we can condense this formula to this uh, smaller formula g minus t plus uh, i little i d and we can expand that formula to g minus little t times y plus i d and in today's video I just want to you to know that uh, the amount of BD is pretty much we can call it the amount of borrowing. So BD is equal to borrowing, and we can uh, say that that is equal to the change in debt. So we already know that if the budget deficit is greater than zero, then the debt rises, and if the budget deficit is less than zero, then the debt falls. And that is how it is. And that's just, I'm just going to write that. This triangle D is equal to the change in debt. And let's say that BD uh, rose. So our borrowing rose. Then if our borrowing rose, and that logically means that uh, our, that there's a change in debt, that the change in debt actually rose, that we actually carry are carrying more debt than before. So uh, there is actually a hidden, hidden, uh, hidden fact about this, uh, uh, this circle and an up arrow, and I'm gonna go through that now. So if let's say that if BD is positive, is positive, and when it's positive, that I mean that BD is greater than zero, and it rises from 20 to 30 from 20 to 30 then we can say that debt rises more than debt this is the fact that debt then debt rises more and this is a fact now if bd is is negative if bd is negative and that is BD is less than zero and it rises and remains negative the keyword is remains negative it rises and it remains negative so for example negative 30 to negative 20 then, in this case, debt falls less. And I suppose these are just facts that you got to remember. And pretty much in, uh, from this formula, from uh, this circle and up arrow, uh, what is shown is that there is an upward pressure on debt upward pressure on on debt so when we have a case where we circle the BD and there's an arrow up, arrow up on top and uh, that will mean that there's we the change in depth is also uh, rising and or rose and that implies that there's an upward pressure in depth and when we have an upward pressure in depth if BD is is positive and it rises then debt rises more and if it's negative and it rises but it still remains negative then the debt falls less and this is just an upward pressure on debt 